Okay, welcome to Simple Pong in Python 3 for Beginners. This is part nine. Again, this is one year and a half after the original tutorial was created. Again, today I passed 25,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, and here's what I'm doing with my time and excited energy. So in the last video, we added a an AI for the the game, so the paddle B will play against the player. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna add a second ball to the game. Now, I'm gonna do it very basic style so that beginners can really understand it and just kind of see how things work. Now, I always say this and I'm semi-serious about it, uh, semi not serious about it. So I like to say that I'm kind of a lazy person. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this ball information. And I'm gonna go ahead and just call it ball two, ball two, ball two, ball two, ball two, ball two, ball two. And I don't want them to be on top of each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and let uh, ball two go to the left instead, doesn't matter, just pick something different. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it and we'll see what's going on. Okay. And then we can, from there we can kind of just debug it and, and work on the program and see what we need to do. Okay, so you can see we do have a second ball. The AI is still doing the AI thing, but this ball isn't moving. So let's go ahead and get that working. So again, if you understand how the basic program works, adding a second ball is very, very simple. So you see here, it says move the ball. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that. And the astute amongst you will realize, I'm just gonna say ball two. Now again, I'm gonna go ahead and run it again. Now I know it's not gonna do everything, because I, I know there's, I haven't worked, worked on the collisions and done a, a couple other things, but this is the process. I'm just gonna add it. Okay, let's see if it's moving. Uh, beginners have this tendency to try to program the entire thing at once, and then of course they get a bunch of errors and they can't figure it out. So if you do it step by step, you know that part, this first part's working. Now this is the second part. So I know exactly where to look. If it's not working, I know where the errors are. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, ball two, okay, so yeah, I missed that, ball two. <laughs> I need to change them all to ball two. It's really hard to talk and code at the same time. That's all I'm saying on the subject. Okay, let's go ahead and run that again. And there is ball two. So now ball two just kind of bounced right off the screen because we didn't do any of the other code for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy, basically just gonna copy all this code. I'm gonna copy the border checking code, which is you know, clearly not what we wanna do. But I'm gonna just go ahead and do that here, okay? And then I'm gonna show you how we really wanna do this, okay? So again, I am just fixing one thing at a time. So in this whole section, I gotta change everywhere it says ball to ball two. I could do a search and replace, but let's just go ahead and do this this way. Uh, this is my punishment for writing my code in a very poor fashion. And if you write your code like that, you should be punished as well because this is not the way you wanna do things. Okay, so hopefully now the border collisions are working. I'm gonna go ahead and run it again. Okay, let's see if it bounces down here. Okay, very good. So it did, it did slow down. We see that a little bit in this game. Okay, so it's coming back. And once it goes off the screen, it is going back to the center. Okay, so now we have to deal with the paddle and ball collisions. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And again, same thing, ball two, ball two, ball two. And I go over here to ball two, ball two. Oh my gosh, there's lots of, lots of these things here. Ball two, ball two. And again, this is, you know, for a beginner who doesn't know any better, it's okay, we're not gonna lose any sleep over it, okay? But again, once you get past the beginner stage, you wanna stop doing things like that. In the next video, I'll show you how to, how to get around this. At least that's the plan. So I'm gonna hit run. I'm gonna run without debugging here on Visual Studio Code. And hopefully the collision is working. And so let's, let's get down here and see. Okay, so now it is working. But now we have a different problem. If you notice now, this paddle will only follow that ball. Okay, so again, when you add stuff to a program, you start to see you know, oh, I forgot this, I forgot that. The testing process is so important, okay? But again, I'm doing everything step by step. 
So for the AI player, what I'm going to do, and again, this the code will work, but it's not elegant, it's not efficient, it's, it's not the best way to do things. Watch what I do here. I'm just going to say, so if ball.xcore is greater than ball2.xcore, you know, forget the parentheses. So if ball one's x coordinate is greater than the ball two x coordinate, that means that ball one is further to the right. We want the paddle to follow it. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy that. And at this point, at this point, actually, what I could do is I could just put else because there's really only two possibilities. It's either greater than or it isn't. And if they're equal, it's it's not going to matter. So then in this case, I would put ball two, ball two, ball two, and ball two. So again, we're checking first to see which ball is closer. If it's ball one, then we do this code. Otherwise, it's gonna be ball two, and then we do this code. So let's go ahead and watch it. Um, actually, let me do something to make it a little bit easier uh, just to understand what's going on. I'm gonna change ball two's color to, uh, let's change it to blue, for example. That way we know ball two is blue. So let's watch this and see what happens to our, so we're following the white ball. Okay, we're following the white ball. Oh, did you see how it jumped up there? Whoa, that was fast. I don't know if that was fair, but, uh, okay, and then now you see how it jumped up there. There's probably something I should do to fix that, but I gotta, I gotta give that some thought. Again, as you're adding features, you will see that how Okay, this change here affects this thing over here that we thought was working just fine. And I do know how to fix it, and maybe I'll, we'll add that later uh, as well. But I, I kind of thought that was kind of cool how it just kind of zoomed up there. But I do want to get to the next lesson.